Hello, this is Mr. David with a lesson about the branches of government. Part 3. In parts 1 and 2, we talked about Congress and the executive branch. This lesson is about the third part, the judicial branch. Another word you can use for this branch is the courts. Courts. What are the courts? And what does judicial mean? It's about laws and judges and making sure that people follow the laws and judges decide if something is legal or good, you follow the law, or illegal or something bad that you did not follow the law. It's what judges do and the place they do that is called a court. The Constitution was written when the United States was born. It is really the instructions for how the country works. It explains the rules for how the government should work. The Constitution explains that part of the government will be the courts. The Constitution says that the courts are one of the three parts of government. So Congress was one branch, the president or the executive branch was another, and the courts is the third branch. They work together, but they also watch each other and make sure that they're doing things the right way. It's like three legs of a stool, and it's important that the stool or the government stays balanced. The three parts are all checking each other. They watch each other and check to make sure that they are doing things by the rules that they are following the Constitution. So we call this checks and balances. Checks and balances. Do you remember how laws are made? Congress writes a bill and then the president signs the bill, then it becomes a law. But what if somebody thinks that the law is not good and they look in the Constitution and they think that this law is not following the rules? You go to a court and they decide if or what that law is doing was good or not. They decide if it's okay or if it's a bad law. So the judges are the people that work in the courts. The president makes the federal judges Where are these judges and where are the courts? They are all over the country, all over the United States. But the biggest one, the biggest court, the most important one is called the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. 
Supreme means the highest or most important. The Supreme Court has nine judges. Nine judges. If the court needs to make a decision about something, decide yes or no, the judges will vote. And the important number to remember is five. If you have five judges that decide yes or no, that's all you need. So five judges will win the vote, and that's an important number to remember. Judges on the Supreme Court can be there their whole life. But why? Why do we want judges on the Supreme Court to be there for such a long time? Think about elections. Some years one side wins and sometimes the other side wins. We don't want the judges to be deciding on what is right or wrong based on who is winning the election. We rather that the judges stay away from politics. So what they think is right or wrong should be what they think, not what the politicians tell them to think. So we want them to stay away from politics. And one way to do that is to have them be judges on the Supreme Court for their whole life. That's what the Constitution in 1787 described as a good way to do this and keep the courts away from politics.